Hey fire signs, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your August um, 12 and 13. These are your bi dailies. So, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Going to be using the Gilded Tarot and the Universal, Golden Universal Tarot. Then I have some other ones I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Rebel Deck today, along with the Fairy Lenormand. Sorry guys, I just woke up from a nap. I had to recharge. <laughs> recharge my spiritual bodily freaking energy, right? Fuck. Fucking A. So many massive energies going on right now. Everybody either everyone is getting freaking energetic upgrades. And um, it's up to you to uh, open yourself up to those, welcome it into your yourself so that you can change for the better. Go with the flow. Embrace these changes. You can't always stay stuck energetically in one vibration your whole life because that will depress the soul and the spirit. Soul and spirit, same thing, right? <laughs> I told you I just woke up and I'm like barely drinking my coffee. Cup number two. All right, Aries. Let's start off with Aries. Obviously, Aries, you're number one. The chariot reversed. Funny, I saw the chariot earlier in the good tarot. I took it out and I started to shuffle. I saw the chariot reversed twice and I'm like, um, no, these, these other cards were the ones that, I, that it was calling me to use, but same message came out. The chariot reversed. Funny shit. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Eek. Eight of Wands. Mm. Let me lay out these cards here really quick so I can get a full view of what's going on with you guys. Wow, look at the Eight of Wands. It looks like there's a huge fire in the background. I know California has like a huge fire going on right now. So if you're the ones that are in California around that fire right now, I know my air is being affected. You can smell the smoke. It's dark outside. So there's definitely going to be... People are not going to want to leave their homes. You're having a hard time deciding where to go to take forward movement. Because the Eight of Wands requires action. Something is, something's going to require you to take immediate action. And maybe that is the fire that's going on for some of you. And because the Queen of Pentacles is reversed with the Chariot, some of you are going to have to leave your jobs and take immediate evacuations. And you're, you're freaking out. You don't know what to do. But that's for some of you. Okay, the other thing that I'm seeing here is that someone feels like after a period of not being able to move forward in their career or money-wise, they felt like they were stagnant. They weren't getting the success that they wanted for you, Aries. Um, um, I definitely see there's something that's going to just pop off quickly. There's going to be communication coming in, either from another fire sign, a Cancer or a, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, and it's going to require you to take immediate action. And another thing I'm seeing here is that after being, you know, not willing to move forward or having the strength to move forward due to financial issues, something's going to happen, like I said, that it's going to be your big break where it's just going to start popping off financially for you. It's like you've been waiting for this to happen. Seven of Wands reversed. Okay. The Magician reversed. And the Knight of Cups reversed. 
the knave of cups i'm sorry the knave of cups reverse so um someone is realizing how impulsive they've been acting and immature with their communication and with their actions and their ways and they see i think you're seeing that uh aries that you've been acting a certain way maybe you've been manipulated towards people around you your lovers your friends your people that you do business with as well you've been popping off of them for a, you know you don't want drama obviously you get really hot-headed quickly and with the seven of wands reverse it's like you're taking notice that and you're trying to change your ways you know you notice that and you're taking responsibility for it yeah you are because you you know how manipulative you can be especially when things are not going your way and things that you really want to manifest are not going your way you can get a little snappy aggressive like a fucking corajudo you know in spanish terms an aggressive man or you know woman corajuda corajudo and you can act immature sometimes or you know you can get a little butt hurt sometimes with the way people say things to you and then you're taking notice of that though so you're getting out of that you're changing your ways or you're, you're trying to change your ways see the tower reverse which i'm happy it's reversed because this means that the worst is behind you okay some of us have been through massive awakenings okay so it's like an eye opener when you start realizing things and you take responsibility for your actions and you start changing your ways that's good so something happened where there was a huge downfall financially or in a relationship or just you energetically in general but i'm seeing that that's behind you now because with the tower reverse it's like the worst is behind you now you're able to move forward with confidence and and peace but hopefully it's peace right yeah seven of pentacles so you're really looking at things from a different point of view now you're evaluating everything that you've been through um all the energetic messages and energies that you're getting it's like you're paying attention to spirit now to the signs to the frequencies so that's helping you really uh, make decisions making you help help yourself uh move forward a little bit financially and not worry about the things that you don't need to fucking worry about or focus or stress on so that's really good i'm, I'm happy to hear that shit someone has to right <laughs> yeah you see seven of wands reversed again that's twice so you've noticed how aggressive and angry you've been getting towards people very defensive taking offense to everything that everybody says to you you're getting out of that you're taking notice maybe it's just the way you're taking it and not the way they presented themselves to you or said specifically what they really meant but you took it a different way but so you're seeing that so seven of wands reverse is the main thing you notice how aggressive you can get in your communication so you're changing that <coughs> maybe you realize it's you you're the problem okay no i'm just kidding <laughs> mm. you went through the wrong hole <coughs> wow that's odd it's like day and night night is reverse and the day is upright so i'm telling you the worst is behind you the dark night of the soul going you know the dark side of you or whatever going through the worst is now behind you it's reversed then you have the sun gla glazing, looking at the sun. Like I said, reevaluating. You see the sun shining in the background? It's like you're kind of grateful and being thankful for everything that you went through in a way. You wouldn't want to go through it again. Fuck no. But it's kind of like you're looking at the situation and you see the light. You're catching the messages. Like I said, you're entering a new frequency. You felt the energies of it too. All right, so one more, or let me get two of the rebel cards here, just to add some humor to the situation. Wow. <laughs> Make better fucking choices, Aries. You see that? Make better fucking choices. 
If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Mm -hmm. Remember I was talking about how you were a fucking corajudo or a corajuda? A pissed off person all the time? Yeah, make better fucking choices. That's, I'm telling you, it's you, the one taking yourself there. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. All right. It says winning. Look at that, winning. Winning. You're going to be winning now. You got a good thing going. Don't don't ruin that shit. Okay? Especially with your aggressiveness. I mean, aggressiveness is good when it, you know, when it's needed, but not being all the time in your grouchy ass fucking mood unless you're fucking sex deprived. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get that. <laughs> but you're going to be winning now. Like I said, there's going to be fast forward movement that's going to require immediate action. And that's going to, you know, really get you to, to be like this. I'm surprised the Ten of Pentacles didn't come in. Maybe you're not, you're not supposed to see that just yet. So, all right. So Aries is done. I'm done with you. Goodbye. No. <laughs> I used and abused you. Now I'm done. Goodbye. Seems like an Aries thing, huh? <laughs> Abusers. All right, next I'm going to do Sagittarius. So if you guys can timestamp these for me, you guys have been doing a great job. Love you guys. Teamwork is dream work, right? All right, so let's get it popping for Sagittarius and Moon Rising and Venus. What's going on with my Saggies? You guys are like demigods, you know, half human, half animal type of shit with, a, with your own weapon. What other fucking Zodiac sign has a weapon? I'm telling you, you, you Sagittarius are like demigods. Okay. Five of Pentacles next to the Six of Pentacles. So you're working toward, you're working getting yourself out of poverty. You're working really hard trying to balance out home and career or work. So that you're not left out, you know, fucked financially. You're working towards that. So, you know, you don't have to stay there. So that's good. Ah. Eight of Swords. I mean, Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. Communication coming in. Maybe regarding a job or something that you've been waiting for financially. Maybe from an Aquarius Libra Gemini. It's going to offer you something. Maybe... Capricorn Taurus Virgo too. So you're in the Five of Pentacles right now. Finding a way to get yourself out of this situation, you know, where you're feeling left out in the cold. You're feeling financially broke. So there's going to be, so you're going to get a call or, you know, communication coming in regarding a, a job, an opportunity. Uh, maybe you're going to land a gig or something and that's going to help you really balance out your home life. Be, you're going to be able to pay back debts if someone was helping you financially and you had to borrow and borrow whatever you're like I said when you finally come here you're going to be able to give back and you'll have enough ah. Nine of Wands, you're trying to protect what you have. You're trying to protect your home, your your family. You could be a little possessive of who you got, what you got. A little too much. Only because you don't you're afraid to lose it, so that's why you're you can get a little attached. I don't like the the ace of wands reversed. I don't like that. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed? Please tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Please reverse. Oh, that flew right out. Oh. And it's because we have the Ten of Wands. You're feeling overburdened. So you had to turn down. So the Nine and the Ten of Wands and then the Ace of Wands reversed. You had to turn down an offer or something because you're overburdened. You don't want to take on too much. 
could be burdens of others, people's drama, you're letting go of their bullshit, whatever. Whatever it is, it's like you had to let go of something. Because you, you have to let go of something. Even if it's that one extra one that you're holding here that you got to turn down or let go of so that you can have some weight lifted off your back, your shoulders, then so be it. But if you're feeling a little stressed out, maybe because all, all the bills are piling up, maybe because you're in the five of pentacles right now, you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, walk away from whatever, whoever is no longer serving you. Turning your back on things that is not worth holding on to. Could be people, places, or things. See, there's that communication again. This time it's the king of swords. So someone really telling you the truth about something. Or you are you could be talking to someone about, you know, hey, you know what, this is what's going on. I'm sorry, don't take it the wrong way, but I have to leave or I have to do so and so. Like getting to the point. And then eight of cups in that ass. Being honest with your communication. The magician sometimes when you are in like this really this state where you feel like you've lost it all and you don't have much you can really start tapping into your intuition your your higher power sometimes that all these things are taken from us or whatever so that we can really open ourselves up to to god to spirit Maybe spirit, maybe God misses you. Maybe mama and dada miss you. So certain things are taken from you so that you can really get down to this vulnerable state and ask them for help versus people around you who are trying to take hold or control of the situation. And they just want to come in and manifest and give you everything that you want. All you have to do is ask and believe and trust. You have the power to get what you want. It's all about reaching that source. The higher power, right? You could tap into that. The Knight of Wands reversed. You've been lacking energy. You've been lacking uh, ambition. It's like losing hope a little bit because of everything that you're going through. But that's only because Source wants you to connect with them. See, death, endings of, you know, certain things, endings and new beginnings. This is transformation. This is, this is rebirth. Maybe you're in this, this period right now where, you know, you really have to let your old ways die out. Go to source, connect with source so that they can bless you with new life. Okay. Some of you are learning about the law of attraction, manifestation. You may not have much right now, but in your mind, if you tell yourself, I have it all, it will definitely manifest quickly, but you got to believe you got to feel it. you got to pretend you're sitting in that luxurious spa or that place you want to be in. If you want that convertible or if you want that house, picture yourself in it. Feel it out. And you will manifest it. It could be anything. That job that you want. That career. That love of your life. Remember how I said there was going to be some com communication coming in? Look at that. The letter receiving a message. I was right. And you're going to be getting a boost of luck. You have this, the, the four leaf clover here. So you will have luck in communication. You will have luck in making that phone call to get that dream job or dream gig or whatever. You are getting giving luck from the source itself if you just ask and believe. They're waiting for you to reach out. 
Then we have the tree here. You're someone very strong. This is something that's going to give you longevity, stability, something that's going to ground you. Okay. Give me a few cards for my Sagittarius. What humorous things do they need to know? Ask a fucking expert. <laughs> Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Wow. Professional. Connect to source. Right? <laughs> That's hilarious. Shit, don't even fucking listen to me. Listen to your intuition, the messages that come straight from the universe, from source. This, what I'm doing, is just guidance. It's guidance. It's to help you on your path. You can lead the horse to water, but you can't make them drink, right? And then we have laugh. Just fucking laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? <laughs> Am I the only one laughing here? All right, then we have shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive, let that shit go. Eight of cups, let that shit go, right? There you go, Sagis. All right, we're doing uh, Leo next. Spirit, what message do you have for Leo? Leos, please. Temperance. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Sorry, Knave of Wands. Pentacles reversed. I see someone's being really greedy. Someone's been greedy, just focus, focusing on themselves and their selves only. Maybe you have people that need your help and you're not willing to help, or someone's doing this to you. And you've been acting like a rude person, maybe judgmental, and maybe that's something that you need to work on, holding too tightly onto possessions, to money, not being able to give. This is holding on too tightly. Greed. For some of you, it could be that you're saving and you wish you could help, but you can't because, you know, you have your own things to take care of. For others of you, you have plenty and it's just greed. Okay. So right now, a lot of you are saving as much as you can because you have something creative going for yourself or coming to you that you have your eye on and you're saving to go on like a vacation or a trip or whatever, maybe for a huge spa or a re I'm here in a Reiki session for some of you to take care of your body, your soul, balancing out emotional and physical even spiritual and mental mental some of you are dealing maybe with a Sagittarius and a Capricorn Taurus Virgo judgment there is judgment coming the blowing of the trumpet judgment day bitches seven of wands reversed it's like some it's like universe is going to wake you up. Something's going to wake you up so you realize your actions. You realize what you've, you've been doing. 
how you've been acting. Something's going to happen where, you know, something will come back to you and it'll open your eyes like, wow, this, is this my karma? I suddenly know my actions or something. like. Remember I told you some of you have been acting greedy, judgmental towards others. Yeah, two of wands. Look at this. This is like screaming, looking at your actions, or a wake-up call from spirit or universe or from someone very powerful. And it makes you think. And you try to change your ways because you realize, damn, maybe I am acting this way. Maybe I shouldn't be this way. I need to be more helpful towards humanity. Some of you are going to be, be awakened to uh, think about what you want to do creative-wise, career-wise, you know. You don't want to take offense to anything. Like if someone tells you, oh, you're so good at this and you don't believe it or if someone's like maybe you should do this or whatever and you're like what do you care you know like you're just being rude or whatever and you start thinking about it yeah you know what maybe they're right <laughs> thinking about which path to take next it's kind of like you know which 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 way do I which way do I go and you end up picking that one that really gets you on your path of excitement of you know passion something passionate some of you are like going to get that wake up call out work. It's, it's like, um, do is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life? Judgment call is here. An awakening. Stop holding on so tightly to that job that's just stressing you the fuck out. Page of Cups. You could be emotionally immature. Or because you've been, you know... You don't know how to take things a certain way. Like I said, all these things that are going on. Man, Leo, some I'm picking up someone's energy or a few of you who's been snotty. Maybe if someone hurts your feelings or whatever, you start acting a certain way. And you really need to balance out your emotional and your, your uh, mental state of being. Maybe you need to be a little bit more sensitive. You're like, what? Me? I'm fucking Leo. I roar at everybody. Maybe keep it down at a low roar. If <laughs> you must. <laughs> keep it at a low roar. Seven of Cups reversed. With the Page of Cups. So it's like... You weren't willing or you weren't able to make a choice, the right choice, because you were in this illusion that, you know, in this cocky state of mind, maybe, and you're like, no, I can get whatever I want. And then that little cup that you have there, based off of your cockiness, you end up choosing something that's not so great. And you're like, um, wake up call, what the fuck did I just do, you know? Kind of like you had this fog over your head until you realize, until that, you know, judgment day came and they cleared that fog and now you're looking at your mess that you created and stuff like that. This is talking about a close, loyal, uh, someone who's really close to you, maybe is doing, giving you that judgment, that awakening, that talk, a loyal friend, someone who's close to you, a loyal person that probably calls you out on your bush bullshit and you're like, hey man, or hey girl, like, I love you, but you need to really realize how you, how you've been and this, this and that. What are you going to do? It's like giving you that talk. the gentleman man analytical masculine force maybe it's a man you have a, a best friend or your husband a lover or whatever someone close to you someone who's very uh loyal is going to be helping you out with your stubbornness or whatever <laughs> 
Okay, so... It says, you think someone is lying, they are. So if you have a gut feeling that someone's lying or maybe you're lying to someone, they know you are. Ha, huh. who else got this? Aries got this too. Make better fucking choices. Hear that, Leo? Make better fucking choices, right? The, the wake up call, make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Boom, boom, boom. Dropping the mic, dropping the card. No. <laughs> there you go. That's your wake up call. Stop taking yourself there. You're creating it, yo. It's like you went down the wrong path. You chose the wrong cup. It's like you're doing this to yourself, right? No offense, you. Everybody makes mistakes, but that's how you learn. And you become wise. And you're able to pass down that wisdom to others who are also going through that same shit. Look at that. It says you need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Yes. And that's when temperance comes in. Let that shit go and pour your cup in to renew yourself. Your soul will thank you for it. There you go. That's for you. Boo boo. All right, fire signs. These were your um, by dailies. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Share, share, share. And I will see you in your next video. Ta-ta.